What's good? It's your boy Lil Swervy. Shout out to Tidewater Waves. We in here rocking right now. Let's get it. What's up, man? I'm chilling, man. Chilling. Had a long night. Stayed at the studio last night, so I ain't get too much sleep, but been working. Okay, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, gotta work. Gotta stay down, man. Sleeping on that food time to take some sacrifice sometimes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's paying off, man. Yeah, for sure. Working hard right now. Um, just trying to promote all the music that's out, get it to the highest point, you know, uh, the fullest potential before we move forward. We're dope, dope. Okay. So, yeah, we actually just going to uh, jump right into it. Um, you know, who are you? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Lil Swervy. I'm originally from Charleston, West Virginia. Shout out to the 304. Uh, I've been in a 757 for about three years, though. So this is basically like a second home to me. I got plenty of family out here, plenty of friends, and like a new campaign, new gang out here. So 757 right now, for sure. Okay, yeah, salute. You know, with everything budding out here, you got to claim a 75. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. I really like the scene out here as far as like um, upcoming artists. I really be trolling on social media. I'm one of them type of people. So like, I see all the Virginia artists. I like, it reminds me of a baby Atlanta almost, kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I fuck with that. Yeah, I feel like we definitely have that potential. Nah, for sure. Uh, it's like... You got a lot of <clears throat> a lot of people with a lot of different styles, and then everyone working towards one common goal. It seems as if, although they're separate styles, everyone really just wants one person to just pop. You know what I mean? For real, where it can just roll, and there'll be eyes on the state from that point. Right, right. So, okay. yeah. So yeah, we'll jump right into the um, you know, new project, emo rap kid. You know, tell the viewers about that. Yeah, that's out now on all streaming platforms. Link in my bio, on my IG, and Twitter, and all that. Um, Emo Rap Kid basically is just like my life, my story in uh, album slash EP. Definitely the highest quality, uh, most potent form of work that I have right now. Um, and it's themed very well too, so it's, it's almost like a movie, music fit together as far as a the theme. Okay. And what was like your creative process in creating this? Um, really just going through like an emotional spin in life. Um, as far as like relationship issues, real life issues with me and my family, um, you know, my mother, things like that. So just channeling all that energy into the music rather than bottling up and keeping it in, being able to channel that and put it into something productive, positive, just to get it out. You know what I mean? Mm, okay. See, so recently I just saw Juice World uh, talk on The Breakfast Club about, you know, speaking on things that other, you know, we just say men. Or just people in general are scared to speak on like emotions and just wearing their heart on their sleeve. So how you feel on you know the rap game is right now with you know those types of artists coming out and just you know uh, popping. I mean I like that. I I definitely fuck with Juice World. Definitely a heavy influence. Shout out Juice World um, and the whole Chicago. But like. Yeah, people don't do that, especially males definitely don't do that. And uh, everybody want to be hard, or majority of people want to be hard, or, you know, a lot of rap capping. This is what me and the homie say, so you know what I mean? Just a lot of pressing things you're not doing. Um, I, I exaggerate sometimes because it's, it is, um, it's like a movie. It's something that you're making, you're creating it, but you don't want to stretch it too far. You want to be able to be real, you know, at the same time. So I definitely try to speak about things that I've done, experienced, or been secondhand to, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So yeah, you speak on Juice World a bit and inspiration. Who are uh, some other artists you uh, kind of look up to in a way? Um, I really like Drake, Young Thug, um, Kanye West. Um, huge fan of other type of music too, like Sum 41 and like punk rock music as far as like growing up. That's where I kind of got like the punk rock rap vibe as well. Uh, I mean, growing up, I was definitely on stuff like that. Yellow Card, like Ocean Avenue, all that type of stuff, like okay. punk rock music. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Or, see how far are you trying to take this rap, man? I mean, to the ceiling, beyond, like to the sky, beyond whatever's out there, like as far as it can go. It's more than rap, man. It's like with me, I audio engineer. I went to school for audio engineering, so I got my audio engineering license. Um, I actually work at a studio and engineer as well, full time. Um, you know, I'm really just trying to put this whole creative process that I have had with my life into channel it into this so basically it's just like me it's it's deeper than rap it's me it's my whole life you know what i mean mm, word see yeah that's dope um you know you went to school for that so i know that's definitely helped you out in terms of um you know just knowing your way around music and how to put certain sounds together uh, you also produce um i don't make beats that's the only thing i don't do um Shout out to my homie Forbes, uh, Chuck Nice, a couple of people that I work with as far as like the production mm -hmm. in the area. But um, yeah, I do everything but make beats. So I'm pretty much the dude in the studio who makes everything sound good as well. You know, like vocal mixing, mastering, leveling and all that. Right. Okay. Dope, dope. 
So you have like a team or it's just you, um, like management or just, you know, people around you helping you get to where you need to go? Um, I mean, right now, what I would genuinely say is I have like a um, a small home team. So like me and my manager, shout out my boy, Frenchie. Um, uh, but we, we, we open, we got applications. Let's put it that way. So we definitely looking to fill some spots now that things are increasing. Now that streams are increasing, analytics increasing, we definitely looking to fill spots for tour as far as visual, um, you know, day to day following, keep up, workout, management, things like that. So, yeah. We hiring. Right. <laughs> gotcha. So how can people get in contact with you? Uh, you can definitely hit me on the gram, Lil Swervy, L-I-L-S-W-U-R-V-I-E. Um, everything's the same. You could literally just Google Lil Swervy. Um, I'm on Instagram mostly more than anything else, so you can definitely hit me on there. And like I said, I pretty much I be trolling. So I mean, I I, I see you, Jane. I hit you back. Well, okay. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to you and uh, Frenchie, man, because you know you just talked about uh, collaboration and you know me and Frenchie on. Um, you know, have spoken about that as well. So, you know, how you feel about this festival coming out here, something in the water and, you know, just seeing that all these big names coming together for the city. I definitely think it's a it's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise, too, because a lot of people um, going to take it for granted. Like it's going to put a lot of eyes. There's no if and or buts. It's going to put a lot of eyes on the state of Virginia because you're going to have a lot of successful, um, wealthy black people, just being genuinely honest, who come and see a lot of other successful or upcoming black people in this area. Plus it's kind of like a Virginia Beach almost give me like a LA vibe, like a secondary LA vibe. So these people are gonna be out here performing on the beach, you know, looking at the water thinking like, wow, we're in Virginia. You know, some people don't even really know about this out here. So I think it's definitely gonna put a good, shine a good light. So I'm yeah. ready. Yeah, definitely a low key area. No um, cap. Yeah. So, you know, how you feel about the music um, scene out here right now? Um, right now, I really like how everyone's beginning to come together. Like I said, when I first moved out here like three years ago, um, it was kind of like, you know, I noticed the Young Money Yon, the Young Crazy, the Beach Boy Tay, shout out to all the other people. Like, um, there's just a couple off of that dome. But now it seems like everyone coming together, everyone supporting each other's work. It's not so separate, um, which once again reminds me of kind of like Atlanta. I got family in Gwinnett County. Um, shout out to my boy SBs and all them down there. So, yeah, I just I'm seeing the familiar, you know, ways of how that's working, which is success, it, it, it'll make the success easier, faster, quicker. So I support that. I'm all with that. I'm open to work with pretty much anybody who's passionate about, you know, the craft. Mm, OK, so, yeah, speaking on working with anybody on. Um you know, do you enjoy doing features or are you more so like a, you know, solo artist? Um, I mean, even like on my project, I did no features just for the fact of I usually do two or three features like with the homeboys, you know, type of vibe. But it's just getting a little more serious. So with things getting more serious, it's like, you know, um, definitely trying to focus on the main pro. I'm the iPhone right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm trying to focus on branding that iPhone everywhere I can get it. So, yeah, right now features coming with a ticket. You know what I mean? So. OK, bet, bet. See, also, you know, in terms of, um, you know, your, uh, I want to say track list, I mean, just all the music you have, you know, is this your first project? And, you know, how many songs do you think you have to date, like in the vault? Um, so, yeah, I got a lot of music in the vault, man. I be recording like crazy. Um, so I'm one of them people. Like, you know, like I said, I've been sleeping in the studio ever since I've had access to this studio. Once I got access to being able to create the quality craft, I got the ideas, you know what I mean? So I got probably about 30 songs total um, locked up, put away. And then I have the Emo Rap Kit project out, which is another 10 right there. It's almost 50. Oh, okay, well, right. so this is your first like major project. Yeah, I've dropped multiple projects. I've been doing music for like five years, but I just really started taking it serious. Like as far as like trying to invest, really see the vision as far as taking it to the next level, like this being my, my life, my day job, you know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So yeah, let's backtrack a little bit, you know, we'll get uh, into the music a little later, but um, you know, I want to ask you about your name. You know, where'd you get a uh, little Swervy from? Um, Lil Swervy, shout out my boy Pat. Pat do promo on IG. That's my uh, that's my boy from West Virginia. We just watched the music change, the era change. Like I said, man, I'm I've been doing music for a minute, a fan of rap music for a long time, five, ten years. So it's like 
we saw the change in the wave, so we definitely had to adapt. We're always with adapting and staying new and staying up, you know, up to date. So we came up with Lil Swervy. I had wrecked a couple cars. <laughs> um, so I mean, we were just throwing some names out there and Swervy stuck. It sounded pretty dope. I was actually um, doing a show with Lil Yachty around the same time, and like their people approved of it. They liked this, so we just we ran with it. Oh, okay. Some Tokyo drift set. Yeah, yeah, no cap, for real. All right, okay. So, yeah, you say you did a show at Lil Yachty. How was that? Uh, that was good. That was for 420 um, in 2008, not 17, 2017. Um, so, that was a couple years ago, but it was really good. It was dope because it was seeing, I got to see Yachty on the come up a little bit as far as like that show. Um, Rich the Kid, I got to do a couple shows with him and see him on the come up. Um, Mark Battles, like artists like that before they really got to that verified on all social media, you know, record deal. Uh, it's dope catching them on the way up. Yeah, yeah, exactly two years ago then. Yeah, yeah almost 420. Yeah, right. it is 420. Shout yeah, out, right. roll up though. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, fly high today, man. Fly high today. <laughs> I fly every day, but we're gonna go okay. over super high today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to. Yep, so yeah, 10 tracks, man. How did you narrow it down to that? You know, you said you got those songs in the vault. Um, you know, why not 15 or why not, you know, seven? Um, I took out all the ones that were like too hard or too, I basically, I really themed this one out, like I said. So I was like only taking the emotionally driven, melodic, friendly music for this, you know. So I weaseled out the harder songs or the super, super soft songs or the very slow songs and got like a certain tempo, a certain sound and stuck with all of those. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, we've seen the growth, um, you know, especially over the last year in terms of your followers. So how do you leverage, you know, your social media to, you know, reach your fullest potential and connect with your uh, audience? Uh, basically, right now we're just running a like a super spree campaign. Um, on reaching out to a bunch of new people. So we're just learning target marketing, things like that, um, watching videos. It's as simple as just, you know, getting put on from other people and just taking little piece and piece here to create your own formula. And we kind of got a good formula that's working now for us. So, yeah, just shout out to that. <laughs> we're just going to keep pumping that right now until, you know, I, I, I foresee myself definitely busting like 50,000 followers within the next year. No. Definitely headlining a small tour. Like, it's just going to be like knocking the door down. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so who would you bring with you on a tour? You know, if you could. Um, as far as like locally, I would love to like, you know, do something with like the larger names out here. Um, you know, if I could get a, a few of those top notch artists, uh, I don't want, I don't want to drop anybody specific name yeah, and leave yeah. anybody else out, but you know, the top notch people know who they are and the other people know who those people are as well. So, um, if I could link up with anyone in that caliber, I would love to do that, especially in the DMV area. So we'll see how it work out. Okay. So yeah, how about mainstream? Like what's, um, maybe like a dream collab or a tour you would like to be a part of? Uh, dream tour probably would be like... Right now, me, Uzi, and Drake or <laughs> something. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, like me, Uzi, and Drake. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Okay. Or see, I know you all brought Drake up earlier. You know, I feel like he's definitely a you know big inspiration for everybody. Um, just with his, you know, like, uh, you know, him being in the game for so long. You know, what can you take? You know, from what he he's done to like you know place into your. Uh, you know, created, you know, get you on that same path. The reason I like Drake so much, for real, I mean, I got Drake, I got, you know, Thank Me Later tattooed on my arm, right. um, which I also have a Kanye West tattoo as well, so, I mean, it's pretty much the same, equally with both of them. Um, it's the fact of no matter what's going on, you're going to hear some Drake, no matter what's going on. So it's the consistency, and it's always at a, a quality level as well, but it's just that consistency. No matter what's going on, you're going to hear some Kanye. No matter what's going on, you're going to hear some Drake. You might not hear about Lil Pump three years from now. You know what I mean? Not taking no direct shots. It's just like you might not hear about the next dude like that three years from now. You just Some Drake going to be out. You know what I yeah. mean? Right, okay. So you consider yourself hip-hop, or how do you? what do you uh, consider your music? I mean, right now, I definitely consider myself like alternative rap. Okay. Like, which is like, yeah, like punk rock slash rap or slash like, you know, melodic driven rap. Although I do real rap too. Like, and you'll see I have a full project coming, you know, a little surprise drop right there, <laughs> which is just showing lyrical uh, content as well. It says, I do what the fans prefer. I'm not one of them dudes who beats down what I prefer is genuinely what the people prefer, you know, because that's who, that's who comes first. 
Gotcha. Okay. Would you ever jump in the light country? Salute the whole country. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Hell yeah. Cause no cap, I used to I used to listen to some Kenny Chesney and shit. Like okay. with my grandfather riding to Myrtle Beach in the summertime and type shit. Right, so sure. yeah, hell yeah, I would. Bet, bet. So yeah, I want you to talk on some other your um, some of the other uh like genre influences, you know, you spoke on earlier and just like, you know, with you being an audio engineer and how you put those, you know, sounds together. Um, like, so even with like the yellow card reference, like basically they, if you don't know, yellow card is the rock band that got the, the hit song Ocean Avenue. I know, girl, on Ocean Avenue. Um, you know, so those chords on that song, they give like that summer vibe, you know? So like even the other day, I was in the studio with Frenchie and I was like, man, I'm dying for like this summer vibe. And like, that's what I'm talking about, you know? So I'm searching to to get that in the rap form, you know what I mean? So when I get a beat that sounds like that, I try to match it, match it vocally with what that would be in rap form, you know what I mean? So just yeah. trying to mesh the two together. Okay, Or So you going to the festival? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be out there, something in the water for sure, man. We're gonna have a bunch of promotional things as far as like flyers. We got some really big sticker, uh, stickers, posters and stuff too. So we're gonna be out there, emo rap kiff, and it'll be, you know what I mean? We lit, we lit with the shits. If, okay. if it's going on, we out there. Yeah, dog. See, I know you can be out there networking. How you feel about the the lineup? You think you get a did? You think he did a good job, or you know you could have included more local? Um, definitely could have included more local. I ain't gonna say I can't front. You know what I mean? I'm not a bullshitting ass nigga. Um, definitely could have included more local. But however, with the pros and cons and everything else, as far as the pros, shout out for real because that's an amazing lineup. As far as the um, you know, the top dogs. I mean, Travis Scott, Lil Uzi. Um, I even heard Will Smith gonna be out here, man. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to mean, yeah, yeah. So that shit like that, crazy. Dope. Okay. Yeah. So you know, with 2019, or I was gonna say just starting out, but you know, at the beginning, um, you know, what else? You know, can we expect from you? What else you got planned? Um, so I already definitely dropped a you know a little gem there. I am gonna drop a few surprise projects type of just to keep the wave going. Um, Emo Rap Kid will be the main platform uh, until August. Around August, I'm gonna definitely try to have the Darkest Heart tour going, which will be like that headlining tour. Um, so that's the main goal. The main focus is press the analytics, get as much analytics stream outcome as I can get from Emo Rap Kid, and hit the road. Okay. So yeah, how you feel about our performing? You know, I, I love performing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love performing. I love gotcha. performing. I got a show on the 25th um, at Virginia Beach Oceanfront, so definitely okay. fuck with me there. It's on my Instagram as well. But yeah, I love performing. I'm an energy-driven person. Mm -hmm. So once I'm like in that zone, whether it's in the studio or, or in front of people performing, I like to kind of just, you know, spaz out. Mm -hmm. So you kicking off the festival the right way? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, exactly. So right before the festival pops okay. off, exactly. Okay. So yeah, what's your... Um, you know, uh, like, what do you do before you perform, like, to get you in that mode? You know, you out there in front of all these people, they expecting you to, you know, uh, level the energy of the house. So, how, like, what do you do? Uh, I mean, really, like, I went on a 32-city tour in 2017 as well with an artist, Mark Battles. He signed a QC to label. Uh, he got a pretty good wave, like half a million followers, verified, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, it was like 100 to 200 people shows, nothing huge, but that taught me that uh, the whole breakdown of performance, for real. So ever since then, I've been very comfortable as far as crowd control, how to keep people um, you know, active, how to throw in regular music with your show and not just pound out your music the whole time uh, to keep the energy at the at right, you know. And I'd be fried, too. <laughs> yeah, so it's a real heart to it. Yeah, it is. It is. It's an art to all of this shit. It really is. Like, and you gotta get in it, get fucked over a couple times, really, and then step outside and look at it to realize, okay, it's a certain way you gotta do all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Or, or, yeah, we appreciate you. You know, um, pulling up to the platform, uh, just being an artist out here. You know, want to shout out to you for. You know, just all the work you've done and just continuing to do so. I appreciate that, bro. All day. Yeah. Shout out to High Water Waves, man. I'm in the 757 every day, so I'm always going to pull up. Let's get it. Already. Yeah. And definitely look for some more collaborative work between us. All right. A little all right. swervy. Yes, yeah, sir. Ski. It's a little swervy. <laughs> don't know who I am anymore. I can't move in some situations. Go blank. I